Hey, welcome back, welcome back. We've got the wave, wave beam. It's a little bit of a sequence breaky thing since you're supposed to have to use the gravel beam to get it, but I'm not too worried about that. Well, not all these bikes are, are fake, of course, just some of them. And it's worth doing this guy once for a little bit of a refill. Okay, speed booster it is. Now, once we get the speed booster, um, there's a couple items we could have gotten by now using the mock ball instead of the speed booster, like power bombs and more super missiles and other things, like it. maybe even the ice beam, actually. Yeah, because the ice beam's been on the way to mini boss. But, that's not doing that move, so there you go. Get in there now, he's doing it right. Well, let's get some refill here. Just a little bit. Now there's a very, very well hidden missile pack in this room that I don't know about it when I used to play this game. I had to actually look up a walkthrough to find this one. I guess, of course, you see it with the scanning beam. It's right here. Yeah, that one's not easy to find. speed booster, you can get the ice beam. Once we have the ice beam, we can get power bombs. Once we have the power bombs, we can go to the mini boss of North Eric and get the grappling beam. That's our basic plan for the next little bit. Also, I'm going to test to see how much um, actual game time has passed. So we go down. Yeah, we want to go down here. There we go. Going left this time. Can power through all this crap. Oops. Yeah, we don't want to go down there yet. There's... We'll come to that later. Much later. There we go. I'm gonna, just gonna save and reset. So let's see how much time has passed. Reset. Not 22 minutes. That's not bad. We've spent like 35 minutes or 32 minutes at the screen, like playing the game. But only 22 minutes have actually gone by. So that's pretty cool. That's what I was saying about how game time is not as much. So we can check the progress by doing that. So we're doing pretty good. We're on track for the two hour mark that I'm aiming for. Now this is one thing where if you're super good at wall jumping, and we could have gotten the power bomb bomb before um, Yeah, before getting before killing Craig. And then you could mock ball through this room and power bomb down there and get the grappling beam right away, which saves a lot of backtracking. Because once we get the ice beam, we have to backtrack all the way to way the to the corridor way, way far north of Craig, get the power bomb bombs, come all the way back down here. It's just a little bit of a waste of time. But oh well. It shouldn't take us that long, it's probably only like, it's only going to be like five minutes of backtrack, so it's not that bad. And the mock wall wasn't an intended move, it's more of a glitch of the game physics type move, whereas wall jumping isn't intended. I don't know. Uh, for most of the... This game, I'm going to be turning the ice beam off after I get through here. Just because it takes more hits to kill things when you have to freeze them all the time. So it's not useful for the most part. 
So I'll be turning it off after this round. Ah, got a little loud on you, slacker. Crap. Well, I did that wrong, for sure. Oh well. Yeah, those beetles you can kill with super missiles. And, uh, yeah, we wanna... Now this is where the backtracking starts, so feel free to skip ahead in the video if you... If you know where I'm going and what I'm doing, because I'm just gonna have to follow my path all the way back to that red corner. If I have time to even get to the power bombs and back in this video. But the grappling beam is my next major obstacle, because we need to kill... The ghost of the wrecked ship is the next major boss. But we need the grappling hook grappling beam to get in there. After that, we'll get the ready suit, kill the boss of... what's it called? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then eventually along the way, we'll be doing that credit. I guess I can take the ice beam off now. We'll save some time. There we go. Oh, by the way, our, our missile, our missile tanks max out at 40 right now. Yeah, so here we can. Oh crap! Why did I turn the ice beam off? I knew I was gonna need it. You need it to get the power bombs. Uh, yeah. I think what I said before is. Uh... Yeah, I guess there's wall jump here too, but wall jumping is dangerous with these things around. Crap. Wrong. Oh, what the fuck? I'm wasting like 10 minutes in this stupid corridor. There we go. I guess here I don't know if you can pull jump through because it's so, uh. Motherfucker! Stop talking and start playing the game. Yeah, you can kill these guys with super missiles and wall jump your way up if you're good at that kind of thing. I'm not super good at it, so I probably would not take so much time doing that. But... Okay, now this this is where we came in, right? So if it's if, what you can do is as soon as you come in here, sorry I forgot to mention before, but as soon as you come in there, like when you're on your way to fight trade, you can just come up here, kill these guys with super missiles you stole with the mock ball. Or I guess you, you would have them anyway from the plant thing. So like all these guys with super missile and wall jump, and then wall jump your way up, get in here. So then you can get in here without the ice beam. Which means you can get the power bombs without the ice beam. And without, well, I guess it wouldn't have high jump either, would you? That would kind of suck. But it's doable. I've seen it done. It's a great sequence break if you're into that kind of thing. Those guys actually don't hurt you as much as it looks like they are. Like 10 health. It's right here. Quite well hidden, too. There we go. Here, this will pick up for our, our missile max at 45. Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. So if you're sequence breaking, you'll, you'll still have to go through and fight trade. But that'll save the backtracking that I just did. <laughs> Plus the one coming out. There's your ice beam jumping. So I guess that could save you a lot of time. You can probably do a 100% run in like close to an hour if you're really good. And up there is other stuff. I'll worry about later. Later, later. We'll be doing treasure hunt runs later. Ow. Ow. Don't hurt me. Well, I'm almost dead and I'm almost out of time too, so it's a good place as any to stop. <sighs> and the 
verge of death. Is he pleased to stop? Yes. So. Yeah. Off my mouth. What the hell?